what is going on everybody in this video we're going to be doing a diy project for a live well one of the first things i noticed was that the lid was hollow on the cooler my guess is that most cheaper coolers are like this i purchased a can of spray foam to fill the lid and after a failed attempt at using the small drain plug to fill the void I decided the best way was to drill multiple holes in the lid to allow air to escape when the foam was expanding. This worked very well, but beware, this step gets messy. I would recommend removing the lid from the cooler just to make this a little easier as well. When drilling the holes in the lid, use a size just bigger than the straw from the spray foam. It will make it a lot easier to fill the lid the way that it needs to be filled and pushes the foam to other locations as needed. As you wait for the foam to expand and dry, I would highly recommend taking a pause at this point for about an hour or so if you did not take the lid off prior to doing the foam. The foam will expand and if you try to clean it up before it is dry, it will make a mess you will regret. So the next thing we gotta try to figure out how to do is get the bubble box to attach to the side or front of the cooler. Now for that, I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do it. There's a little clip here. I was thinking about just cutting like a little slice in the side here and then just having it go inside and then push down and sit into there. We got that on. I'll just put some silicone down in there to hold that in there. Kind of actually might not even take it off. Might just leave it just like that. I'm just worried about water getting in there, but it's on there pretty good. It kind of bounces around, wiggles around. Now we just got to figure out uh, to run the tube. Probably going to go from here. Going to go up and around and into the back and then down the back. And so to do that, I picked up a few things. So we're gonna try these out, pick these up at Harbor Freight, little lines like clamps. So we'll see. All right, so we got the bubbler on the side, the box, we have the hose ran kind of where we want it. I'm not quite sure what to do with this just yet, but it doesn't seem to be in the way. It runs through the brackets and into the back side of the cooler. At this point, I decided to use clear RTV silicone to seal up the area between the cooler and the air hose. All right, so I think this is gonna work pretty good. So these are single bubble stones uh, that you can pick up but they have like this you can pull the plug out on the side of them and put them together so think if I slide it together like that and run the line into this side this is like fits perfect down in the cooler now the uh, just have to work on how the heck do we get it to stay in here I was thinking about putting some silicone but that's gonna take a while I may have some epoxy that we can put together and put it down in there, but I also want to be able to remove this if I need to. So I thought about doing Velcro, which I don't have any Velcro 
So what I might do is I might just do, might just do some silicone to act as some glue to hold that down, at least for the test run tonight. So we're down here at the local river and uh, been catching some bluegill so we can take it to the park. We got our live well here. It's been uh, running. We got quite a few fish in here now. But uh, this is them just hanging out in there. Everything seems to be working all right. These are, uh, caught these guys in the last about 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it. But uh, it seems to be working all right so far. Better than a bucket, huh? With the cooler full, it was time to make the two hour trip to the property. I made sure to run the bubbler the entire time so I could push the live well harder than what I would normally use it for. All right, girl, you ready? We're at the property. So this has been running uh, for about five hours now and fish have been in it for about three so let's just kind of reach in here and see what we got it's kind of crazy that they Oh yeah, little feisty guys. They're still alive and well. So, yeah. get these guys in the pond. Instead of simply dumping the fish into the pond, I wanted to see how many fish I had. I knew there was a lot of fish because I lost count around 15 when I was catching them earlier. This would be the proof of concept I needed to say that this project was worth it. And I'm actually going to count them. So that's one, two, three, <laughs> eight, nine, thirty-two. 41, <laughs> 44, 44 of these guys. With this cooler carrying 44 small bluegills for an approximate total of three hours with no casualties, I'm extremely happy to say that this project was a success. I'm confident this cooler will help keep my catch lively longer than my traditional bucket and will be an invaluable tool for all future fishing trips.